Happy holidays, everyone, to celebrate the season and show my appreciation and thanks for all of your support. I am offering a 25% off coupon and I hope everyone has a merry, merry season filled with joy, love, and laughter. Pisces, welcome to your love reading. We have the overall energy from the bottom of the deck coming into the reading, the Four of Cups. So your person is feeling left out uh, as if you aren't accepting their cup of love. It, it's Sometimes it's just being a little bit down. Depends really on the other cards. But we feel, you know, what I'm seeing here is that your person is feeling very uh, uncertain about the relationship overall. They're just not sure what's going on. They have this feeling, Pisces, that you know they want the relationship, the Page of, of Pentacles. They're not quite sure what action to take or what to do here. But when we look at the energy of their thoughts about your situation, their thought is that they're at a crossroads. They really want to become engaged. This is the engagement set, the Three of Cups with the Ace of Coins. They want, they feel as though they want to make an offer, but they also don't feel it's their place to do so. It's interesting. I don't, I've never said that actually in a reading before. They feel uncertain because they don't know, Pisces, if you have someone else you're interested in with the Two of Coins. The Four of Swords says your person looks like they're recovering from something that was said, something, some sentiment that you've had. And the Death card is clarifying the Three of Cups. So it's interesting because it may be for some of you that your person feels as though you have a romantic interest in a friend that could end the relationship, but they definitely think that you are on the precipice of making a life change in which they may not be included. In terms of their heart space, you know, we get the energy of the Hermit card with the Empress. And so your person is looking at the Empress and, you know, they're looking at you, Pisces, in their heart space, and they have this love for you, but they feel alone somehow in the relationship. I'm going to say vice versa. Those who watch tarot frequently know that energies can be reversed, so I would throw that out there at this time. Because the reading shows that the Empress is a lot of love. It's a desire to nurture. It's a desire to, to give their love, but they're not sure you know, that you're accepting it. We see that with the Four of Cups and certainly with the Judgment card. So your person doesn't know if they are if they should walk away. They want a victory in love. They want to say, honey, I'm home. That's how they feel, Cancerian energy, nurturing, desirous of the relationship. But we do see some heartbreak here, you know, a sense that they have to defend themselves in the relationship, you know. And so the Five of Pentacles is someone who has a key. They aren't looking to see what they can do. They, they want to win, but they're not understanding how to get the win with you. And so as a heart space energy, I just see someone here who, you know, they want to have this relationship with you and they have very deep feelings, but they're so caught up in their heart space and sadness and feeling like you don't want them and feeling lonely that they're just not sure that, that, you know, you really would return any offer that they made. This is the engagement set. And you've heard, if you watch me regularly, the Ace of Coins with the Three of Cups doesn't, you know, have an engagement um, promise. In terms of their intentions, I feel as though you've got the Four of Swords here twice. Your person needs to heal from something, and I do think that it was most likely an energy of an argument, disagreement, something along those lines. When we look at the energy that Spirit is talking about in this relationship, it's a cosmic womb, Divine Feminine. We see Divine Feminine here. So it speaks to the fact that your person sees you in their heart space in that way. Spirit is, con you know, is confirming that. 
that whatever feelings that you have actually are being mirrored by your person um, in the relationship. That's whatever's happening here is resonating. And time to replenish an empty well. So it does, you know, the Wheel of Fortune turns right side up and upside down. And sometimes when we're in a very dark place or we've lost a job or we're going through some sort of struggle, you know, we have a tendency to let go sometimes of our intimate relationships and they fall into sort of a, a bit of period of stagnation or disarray. Um, sometimes it's stress, but it really speaks to the fact that the two of you need to come together in this relationship more than you have in, you know, recent weeks or months or however long. But this person really intends to make this work with you. We have the Queen of Pentacles. This person plans on their intention is to nurture the relationship, the Six of Cups, to have a reunion with you. For some of you, you may just not be in the same location, but that will only be a few. But we get the Emperor card with the Empress. So your person really, and we get the Six of Cups twice. That's Scorpio energy. It's a rebirth. You know, the Judgment card says that something in this relationship needs to be released in terms of how your person is coming into the reading. So there's something about, you know, making that decision, committing to the relationship. Um, there's something really tough here. I think that perhaps for some of you, then there's there has been an active verbalized threat to break up. And so your person's intention is to try to make things work, to try to heal the relationship as well as themselves. When they their actions that they're going to take is very interesting because it's almost doesn't fit with the rest of the reading but the actions they will take is to rush in and talk to you about exactly what you want so the two of you can make a decision stop juggling you know the two of you if you're going to end this your person wants it to end and that you know they don't want anything that's you know unhappy clearly but we see them rushing in to talk to you, and we get that they want a victory in love, very much so. This is a card of victory. It's it's Scorpio energy. The Ten of Cups is your energy. Pisces, there you are in the reading. Happily ever after. Very delightful energy. The Five of Wands says that the two of you have sometimes low-level conflicts about what you want, but your person's going to fight for the relationship. They want to marry you is what I see. You know, in terms of what they want to do or what they will do, these are two marriage energies. Four of Wands is a classic marriage card. It's 1111, the twin flame. Uh, there is some disagreement about how this is going to come about. For some of you, there may even be the, the, um, that you've given them an ultimatum that if they don't marry you that you know you definitely will go your separate ways so there's a couple of different storylines here and you know as always you know you just take what's yours it's a general reading it's like a buffet table if something doesn't fit you know then you ignore that part and look at the part that fits but for the overall theme here i really get the feeling pisces that you or your other per you know your person is really saying, look it, this has to go to the next level. I want to be married. If it's not going to happen, then, you know, we need to separate paths and go our separate ways. So very interesting. And some of this just may be really unspoken because when we get that hermit card here, in terms of your person's uh, feelings and heart space, you know, they feel... They look like they feel devastated. We also get the Six of Wands. Your person, Six of Wands, Six of Wands. Leo energy. Your person wants a victory in love with you. They want to be able to say, honey, I'm home with that Cancerian energy. But they feel like the door might be closing on them. So let's look and jump into this. It's a complex reading. Pisces, you're complex. Five of Swords is clarifying the death card because I'm only going to clarify troublesome cards, cards that need clarifying. Uh, but the Five of Swords energy is really that there was something spoken. Words were spoken that were very, very difficult and they wounded. And this is sometimes your 
you know, this can be interpreted as, or it can actually be unfair fighting, something that's said in the heat of the moment that maybe shouldn't be said. It's also the feeling of, you know, be feeling a little bit played. We have the Six of Cups again in terms of the Four of Swords. A person wants a relationship. They want this reunion. We see it here and we see it here. So your person definitely wants a relationship. The Justice card says that they're trying to look for balance in the relationship to clarify the Hermit. They're, your person, again, the Justice card can be paperwork to formalize a relationship. If you're breaking up, it would be possible divorce papers, and it's your person really fears that. So for some of you, you may be on the precipice of deciding whether you're going to, you know, get a divorce. Again, this is this is a very complex reading. So when we see the five of pentacles, your person feels that you are their happy place. They feel as though the sun card, that's Leo energy. Your person has a really strong drive to be with you. And they feel quite devastated that they feel as though they're just, you know, it looks as though you may have said to them, look at the devil energy. And it's toxic energy, but it also shows that the, your person, you, there's a lot of five, six, seven of wands here. You have the five here, which is com competition. It's, you know, we have the five of swords here, which is a sharper level. It's, it's saying things that could be ending the relationship, you know, but we also get the four of swords, which is healing. So we get the four of swords, uh, the five of swords, and we also get the five and six and seven of wands, which is low level competition, a desire to win and then feeling defensive and holding back. So those are themes that are going on right now. When we look at the energy of the Four of Swords here in terms of their intentions, you know, their intention, they felt as though they wanted Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups. They want happily ever after with you. Why is the Judgment card here? Why is it here? Ace of Swords, words that were spoken, a truth that's been revealed. You know, I would also say if there is a sense that there's been juggling in the relationship, that is going to be catastrophic right now, uh, obviously on either either of your parts. Why we get the ten, we get the judgment card here is clarified by the ten of coins. These are two marriage cards, so for some of you, this is going to be a marriage that in which the trust may be broken, but with the engagement set, it'll be new for some interesting reading it's like a little all over the map it covers a lot of people seven of pentacles says that your person is going to invest in this relationship they're in it to win it the son of pentacles is they are moving very slowly which may also be an issue here for you pisces but that is virgo energy the decision and the strength to win the day so it's a very uh, complex reading and let's look and see what we have here for what spirit is going to say is saying is your outcome. We have for your outcome from messages from spirit about your outcome is frog spirit renewal. Okay. So judgment is oftentimes it can be releasing, absolutely making the decision to walk away, but it can also be a renewal of relationship which would, would Excuse me, <laughs> Mercury is not retrograde, but my, my tongue is, okay, but it's time to replenish. And it does look like the two of you need to really focus on the relationship with new beginnings. Uh, Spirit is saying that you need to, you know, find your way back if you would like the relationship. You know, some of you won't, but I'm getting that you both have the knowledge of how to do this. So Pisces, I am broadcasting from Chicago, sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from. It's been a joy. Thanks so much, Pisces. Bye-bye.